Alright, I've played this game before. I've actually beaten it, and in a previous version. Let's try to beat it again. Enjoy. Probably take a while, since it's purely random. I don't care about my body! Why are you even drag me here? You're just gonna break my neck. Let's see. Damn it. There we go. Damn it, Hank. Did you piss down here? Something smells. Tell me again why we didn't bring actual flashlights with us. These shitty glow sticks won't last long. Phil. Hank, I'm not sure what's going on. All I'm getting is static on the radio. Phil, and you said we'd never need these notepads. Ha! Phil, if you see this, my radio is busted. Heading back to the access ladder to grab a replacement. Hank. No, thank you. Damn it. Get out of my way. I think I took the wrong turn. I don't remember all these damn gates. And where the hell did those giant holes in the wall come from? Keeps going like this, I'm gonna collect all the notes. I think I just saw something. Crawl into these, those dirt tunnels. Tunnels. Bleh. I wouldn't go into there if I were you. Looks like a giant rat or bird. Something weird. Hank. Well, back to the beginning for me. Alright, he's not coming. Hmm. 
Same bottles of beer or whatever. Good. I'd like to progress now, game. Please give me my room. I'd like to get the second phase going. Hank, where are you? Are you getting my notes? I don't even know where I am. I think there's something down here with us. I'm still looking for the water pump room to help look for your keys. Phil. Finally. Honestly, I've actually no idea what the glow sticks do. They don't really have enough coverage to like work as a light source. They don't seem to do anything to the monster itself, so... Feels like I'm walking in circles. That or the walls are moving on me. Where the hell is the water pump room again? Phil. Oh, wow. And then again, I think I just... Oh, sweet! Now I just need to get extremely lucky and I could win. Never happen. I don't like you. Now we're in the third phase, and this sucks. Please don't kill me. And the third phase is extremely trolly. Come on, give me the door. Shit!
I can just barely see him in the front of me. Suck. I don't think I'm far enough either for this path to change. I'd recheck, but nope. Like cruising at a brisk one mile per year. Okay, looks like the path to bulge, which is nice. Oh wait, no, it didn't. Where'd he go? He just goes through the wall? Apparently he did, because he's not over here now. There's something definitely following me, I swear. If that's you, Phil, I'm gonna kill you. Run, motherfucker, run! Stop freaking out, you'll be fine. Unless he breaks your neck, and then you'll be dead, and you won't have to worry at all. I really should have won the hole. And great, two maps that are worthless. You son of a bitch. Makes no sound, just instantly breaks your neck. Oh well. Didn't get lucky enough. Try again. I'm a note. Blah. How disgusting are these walls? I guess they would have sticky residue on them, though, for him to put them there. You would think the paper just wouldn't look this nice, considering.
And back to the beginning. Damn shitty glow sticks. Oh, good. Awesome. And then kaboom! Now into phase two, which... I want that note, damn it. It'll help me out. Now into phase two, which is pretty much like phase one. The monster doesn't really do anything, except maybe chase you. Which you can still easily outrun it. So you just wait until you get to phase three for something to actually happen. Exciting. Also, he starts doing this, which pretty much you just stay here. And you wait for him to walk and waste five minutes of your time. Yeah, you can go away now. Thank you very much. Don't you look at me. Get out of here. You're a dick. Come on, open up. Okay, good. It's different. First time I've seen this. He's not chasing after me. Besides, this system doesn't have um the regening stamina bar if you use it all. You have to wait like ten seconds. You gotta do a little short burst. Besides, I'm not in phase three yet, so he's not really a problem. Unless I get trolled into a corner and he chases me, like one inch away from it. It's about the only time you can actually really die here. How you doing this morning, Heartless?
So he's to the right. It doesn't mean anything. You just can't go right. And there you go. I was waiting for a pipe to explode. Am I really at the beginning again? Finally, now I get to phase three. I think. Oh, damn, it's the same room. I gotta double check. There's, there's no way. Give me my keys, damn it. No keys. That's a shame. Alright, he's not coming. Well, hopefully you'll have a lot of fun when you do that. Probably a good idea to follow him in here. What did I do? Come out of the same place I just left? Looks exactly the same. Oh well. Doesn't really matter. Everything's gonna change when I go forward anyway. Great, I'm back here again. No, oh, no, no more glow sticks. <clears throat> well, didn't help me last time, so it'll probably work twice as good now. Okay, he's moving away. There's something following me! Seems like I'm following him. Maybe this monster is just really crappy at being a blind person. 
Maybe when he touches the wall, walls, he tries to break its neck too. Let me see your face. Oh, I killed you. I'm sorry. But now I know what you look like. Keep it moving. Oh, you suck. Oh, do I actually get to do something, or did you? Put me in the same location again. I don't like you. It's really weird. I've been to both rooms. I don't know why the key hasn't spawned. Better not bug dummy game. I don't want to be in phase two forever. There's nothing happening. It's quite boring. Give me my key, give me my key, or you suck. Alright, good. Now I'm in phase three. Fantabular. Give me my door, now. Or I, I won't like you. I dislike you on Facebook. Run! I could just chill in that room. I don't think so. You ain't sneaking up to break my neck. Jerk. I have no idea if that's actually going to help with that. He just seems to do it random, like he just pops out of a wall. Yep, there he is, and then my character smashes into a wall. I guess I wanted to go straight. It'd be really cool here. You gave me a door to go through.
There he is. Shit. And I'm dead. Didn't get lucky enough. Yeah, once you reach a dead end, he'll pretty much just kill you. Now back to phase one. Exciting. The game better as well just start you in phase three. Because realistically, you're not doing anything here. As long as you don't try to headbutt the monster immediately, you'll be fine. Same thing in two. He doesn't do anything really trolly. Worst thing that'll happen is if you go into a corner, you just have to back up and wait for him. Which is boring, but he's not dangerous. And then phase three, he just says, screw that. He just starts teleporting like he's Jason Voorhees. Just breaking necks. Corners are rinsed in death, and you just gotta hope the maintenance door is nearby. If it's not, you lose. Of course, just be in my way. There we go. My foot fell asleep. Awesome. If it's the room I think it is. Yes. Straight to phase three. Great. And give me a door. It'd be really nice. Make this a five minute game.
No, you fucking dick. Okay, I think I'm safe from being killed from the back at the moment. I'll take my time going out here. Fuck, man, you really gotta come around the corner like that? You're a dick. Close the door on him! Close the door! I don't like you. The worst possible thing this game can do is, before you get into phase three, it'll show you the door. At that point, you better as well just restart. Because you ain't finding that door ever again. Snow, what are you doing? No, I don't. Snow, will you be the lucky one? The one that lets me win this game? Pure excitement! And back to the beginning.
I'm not going in the tunnel system. I'm better off just going this way. The tunnel system will just keep being windy. It pretty much does the same thing this is going to do. It probably already randomized since I went a certain distance. So it's basically the same thing. Now game, if you want to though, you can randomize me a place to actually go. Thanks. Son of a bitch. And of course, it's long and winded and takes a million years. You can never die in these tunnels, so there's no tension. <laughs> Everybody loves mobile Twitch. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh my god. Uh. All I want to do is get to phase three. I'm still in phase one, damn it. Oh, that's just a new Twitch standard, don't you know? If you get the premium uh, Twitch subscription, you'll get two seconds. It's really worth it. Yeah, it's kind of different, but he's not going to kill me. It's been a while since I've seen him do that, though. Well, the most important thing on a gaming site like this is the chat and the audio. I'm just going to wad these pieces of paper up and throw them at the monster. Depends what the broadcast did. If there's sufficient... I'm dead. There's no way to go back. It's just cage, so I'm dead. I mentioned that earlier when I, um, I think it was like the second time I played this today. The only way you can die in like the second phase is if uh, you get blocked into a corner and he decides he just wants to kill you. Because there's nowhere to run, you're just dead. You can't like evade him. But anyway, 
now that that five minutes of getting to phase two and then instantly dying is over. If they've broken the rules and there's sufficient enough evidence, it's perfectly fine. Just don't break the copyright rules. I know some people have been hit unfairly, and, well, the system should change for that, but, you know, they're not going to do that for a while. Or ever, depending. And really, Twitch and um, Google should be responsible for that. You're going to put in a faulty system that punishes people for no good reason. You should be reliable for the losses they uh, claim from it. So no, I've played this a million times. I've actually beaten it before, too. In that case, he didn't actually walk up to me. He ran to kill me. I didn't trigger him to attack me. He was attacking to start with. When that situation happens, you're dead. He, he, what he basically did was, um, sometimes when you're in phase two, even very rarely in phase one, he will run towards you and you just kind of run away. There was no space to run away from him. So you're dead. It might be because of the fact that the um, it was a gate and not an actual walled off area. But I was still screwed nonetheless. Shit. Just a little bit too close. Oh god, I hate you. Okay. There's a problem with that, and it's the um, streamer's fault. It's completely the streamer's fault. If you have Nightbot on, and it can request songs, you need to disable that. Even, like, a simple oops, sorry, before this rule was changed, I forgot Nightbot had this feature or whatever. Okay, you were ignorant of it. There's your punishment. Don't do it again. <laughs> as long as they're not being stupid about it, like they are on YouTube, and they leave games alone for being played as a game... What the hell are you doing? It's a good day to walk into a wall. Well, if I come out, he's going to murder the shit out of me, so... Back in I go. What, no walls for you to hump here? That's a shame.
<laughs> that seems really stupid. Definitely heard some howling. Nah. Screaming. Nah. I heard some something. Good. Rest RIP in peace. <laughs> There's only one thing you can do, Snow. You have to go down to Twitch headquarters and you gotta be like, make this better. And then they'll be like, no. And then you can walk home. It'd be great. Finally. This kind of sucks though, because it's gonna explode. Overall, it doesn't matter, because the lighting's pretty much exactly the same. Turn the gamma down by 10. Bam! The lights went out. I'm gonna jam this nightstick straight up your ass. Get out of the way. If this was the right area, I could actually mess with this guy pretty good. What you do is, um, if there's an area you have to crouch under, what you do is you piss him off, and then you go under the whatever, and he just sits there and just runs into the wall forever. All because he can't crouch. Despite the fact he has an animation crouching to the holes, and he made the holes, and... Shit! Now I'm probably dead. Oh god, where am I? I'm dead. Quick, throw stuff at him. Hurry! Ah! I got too close to him. Because the tunnel took forever give me the hard hat I'll throw that at him this game's like really weird I wouldn't really classify it as like a horror game because the only thing it does that would qualify as horror is like a pipe will burst or something. Basically, it uses a loud noise to try to make you jump. That's pretty much the entire thing. The monster itself isn't really all that scary. You could pretty much just replace the monster with anything that can kill you. It'd be the same thing. He has no real influence on the uh, horror of this game. Once you play this, like, twice, pretty much, you'll be used to the, um, the loud sounds of things bursting around you. So all that happens is you try to just race to phase three and hope he doesn't ninja kill you. More than likely, if you keep playing this over and over again, it turns into a rage game instead of a horror game. It just becomes extremely tedious. I mean, really, there's no tactics or anything you can follow. First phase, he's he's dirt easy. Second phase, you might have to run away from him. If you get unlucky, once again, a big problem with this game. It's really about luck and about it. 
you'll just be dead. I mean, if you get to phase three, he can ninja kill you, so... You just gotta hope the door appears in front of your face quick enough. That and you don't get blocked into a corner. Because even with the tactic of looking back to stop him from ninja attacking you doesn't prevent a wall from spawning being like, Oh, you're fucked. Very luck-based game. Which really sucks. Like I was saying, there's really no rules governing this game. You can't, like, try to sneak past him or anything. <clears throat> I can't be, like, really skillful and, like, drag him to the right and then try to run by him. He'll just automatically grab me, because his hitbox is the entire length of both sides. While the tunnels are a neat idea in this game, there's there's nothing really going on with them. It's basically like, oh, you can't go anywhere else? Here's a tunnel, have fun. Like I said previously, you can't die in it, so... I guess if you want to live forever, just make a home in the tunnel. I mean, it's not like you need food or anything. <laughs> if I described to you everything that's happening, yeah, there wouldn't be that much. It'd be like, three pipes bursted, I saw the monster twice, nothing happened in. Now there's four pipes that bursted. I found a piece of paper. It has nothing useful on it. I don't have the option to throw it away. Uh, I hate when the first phase drags on forever. <clears throat> I found a hard hat. Why is it here? Mm. To let you know they were working down here. Which, if you read the notes, you'd already know that, so it's not necessary. Are these like the... Is this monster like recent or something? Because there's no way no one doesn't know about something horrible in these sewers. I mean, seriously, what do they do? Just send all the people? They just like, we have to get more jobs. What do we do? Oh, I know. Let's send all the people down to the tunnels. Tell him to go fix a pipe or something, then it'll just be lost in this transition of garbage. Till something just runs up and breaks their neck. Perfect plan. Guy's just blocking every single possible possible place. Ugh. I just want to actually do something. Fuck. 
Fucking finally. Like, I know it's only been like three minutes, but when your only goal is to find two rooms and then the access ladder, it's pretty fucking boring. Oh god, you're such a dick. Of course, I can't see shit. There we go. Where the hell's the door? There we go. You're a dead end. I'm gonna be so pissed. Oh, okay. You went into a tunnel. Never mind. They have a very slight usefulness. Not very much, but very slight. If for some reason um he's ahead of you, like when he's like walking away, it can be useful during that. Because you get to see just slightly ahead. Not much, but very slightly. I don't think it really determines anything useful there. But it does give you slightly more. If anything, what what you should be able to do is you should be able to throw like an object. Because obviously he's attracted by sound. So you should just be able to take like, I don't know, pieces of paper, the glow sticks, anything, and just chuck them. Or maybe like you can throw the glow sticks and that'll prevent him from spawning in that particular area. Anything would be nice. And back to the beginning again. I'm doing nothing but running around in circles or squares or whatever the hell. Come on, phase three, come on. Then give me a door after. Or I'll call you mean names. You won't like it. Yeah, there you go. Break the lights. That'll help me out. Um, there's two things I'd like to mention about this game. One's going to be a glitch, and one's going to be about um, how this game's evil. At one point, when I was walking through an empty tunnel, or at least what seemed to be an empty tunnel, the game put itself to um, put the access ladder right next to the key, but the second I went slightly away from it, you bet that shit was gone. And I'm dead. That was evil of you. Thanks, game. The other, um... Is the glitch. What he did was, um, when I was going through a hallway... 
he was in the wall, so you couldn't see him. And when I walked past him, he just broke my neck, and I was like, what the hell happened? <laughs> that was during one of uh, the first phases. Because when he's leaning up against the wall, that's where he, he bugged. He just, like, clipped through the wall for some reason. Screw you, note. You want to give me the other two rooms real quick so I don't have to deal with all this garbage? Why, thank you, game. I would like that. You should do that right now. Or at least give me, like, Minesweeper or something to play in the corner while I'm just walking around pointlessly. Damn it, hard hat! You ratted on me. And back to the beginning. Great. <sighs> Thank goodness. Now I'm in the phase two. Really all I want. Th these could take forever. As long as the game actually gives me the access gate. Because that means I can actually win. But it never works like that. Usually it's just like a combination of it takes 30 minutes to actually get into phase 3. And the game gives you like nothing to work with. I think this will be the last one for um, now. Because if I keep playing this over and over again, I will get mad. <laughs> so I'll switch over to the other game. I'll just um, do this probably later today when it's actually dark. Tried the best I could, but. Obviously, it's pretty still light in this room. Shit. Don't spawn, damn it. Then again, that won't really matter. I really have no idea what they're trying to, like, 
get out of that when he does that. Like, I understand he's scared, but why would he, like, like, have a spasm? You know what I find funny about that? He'll have the glow stick out and the glow stick will die. And he, he just still holds it up. Even though it's dead. He's like, oh yeah, this is illuminating no light. Better just keep holding my hand up. Because why not? Not like I'm doing anything with my hands anyway. I've got about 30 minutes before he gets out of my way. This guy needs to actually, like, he needs to go away. Not just slowly shuffle away. I mean, I've seen him disappear before, and he should. Because sometimes you're not lucky, you don't get a tunnel like this. And you have to wait for him to get out of the way. Blech. I don't like you. I don't like you at all. I basically just respawned in the same spot. Oh, back at the beginning. Of course, back in the tunnels. Unless they decided to switch, and I don't think I went that far. Yeah, I've, I've actually had that happen before, too. Since the game didn't give you enough room to actually reset an area, you're just kind of like, oh, okay. The worst one I've seen is, um, that situation happened, but it happened to where it was like, there was enough room to change it, but all it did was extend in length, and then went straight back to the monster. Extend in length, straight back to the monster. Oh, come on, there's nothing in this room? Ugh. All right. That's the first time I've ever seen that. I didn't die. 
So... What's the deal? I mean, realistically, it doesn't change anything. The map layout's still gonna be random. So all you did was show me, like, a cutscene for a moment. Whoop-dee-doo. I mean, it's interesting, but... Reason for doing? It doesn't kill me. It doesn't harm me in any way. Sure didn't prevent me from going anywhere. The game itself is doing that. All right, see you later, Snow. You want to give me the room? Do it. Hit me for a wall and I'm dead. Okay, all the routes have changed, so it doesn't matter which way I really go. I haven't seen the monster in a while, so he's probably going to chase me in about a second.
Can I please have some progression here, game? I mean, as stupid as it is to just die in phase three a million times, I would like to continue. Conscious again. Good. Let me just uh, move around a little bit then. There you go. Oh, great. And it turns too, so it's going to take forever for him to get out of the way. You're gorgeous, now get out. Alright. Okay, that should be about enough. You son of a bitch. Get out of the way. This takes a sweet damn time. Don't you dare walk towards me, you fucking son of a bitch. Please change. No, oh God, please change. Oh, time to pitch a tent. Punk. No, I'm still on phase two, sadly. I've been to two rooms, but the other room I went to didn't have the key. Right now, the um, monster's in my way. <clears throat> He's probably still in my way. He decided in a small hallway he needed to turn around. He'll probably be a dick now and start chasing me, and I'll be screwed. Oh, come on! Get out of the way! There's no way. It didn't change. I, I didn't get enough distance. Wall. I better as well just run up to him and punch him in the face. He's not letting me do anything. You know, the other thing I can think to do is wait so long until my character passes out again. This is so stupid.
I, I think literally that's my only option. Either I run into him and kill myself, or I wait long enough for my character to fall down. I mean, I guess realistically it doesn't matter if I die, if I just do another game, but I wanted this to be the final one, I wanted it to actually go some... somewhere. <laughs> Even if he legitimately spawned and killed me in a corner, it'd be something. Here, this is just tedious and boring. Nothing's happening. I can't change the layout, because he's in the way. And he's not actually going anywhere, he's just blocking me in a corner. Fuck you, get out of my way! I'll do one more, this game's bullshit. That's the kind of stuff that really needs to be tested with this kind of game. Since it's a purely luck-based game anyway. They should make sure that the uh, enemy either just straight up kills you, or doesn't have a pathing to where the layout can't actually be changed. I say can't. I meant can. Because really, in any scenario like that, you lose. You can't do anything. Come on. Here's a scenario I explained earlier. You go back and forth and there's nothing there. The layout would keep changing, but it might just keep giving me garbage. Three minutes will pass to where I don't even go anywhere at all. Oh good, it, it split. Now I've got a chance. And now I don't. Please actually go somewhere. I really don't want to keep running back and forth. I've seen him disappear before. He went, um, he, he literally walked into the wall and disappeared. I don't know what he did. I don't know if it was a bug or whatever. But he, he disappeared. I mentioned it, and then I just kept going on my way. And I think I got to the third face and he instantly broke my neck. I mean, even if it takes forever, as long as the game allows me to continue a progression state, that's fine. But that one just defaults you to just standing still and taking in defeat. Oh, okay, he's getting out of the way, never mind.
There's no challenge in it, there's no tactic. And you pretty much just restart over. It's basically like getting killed. There's probably nothing over there, but I'll still follow him anyway. Worst thing that'll happen is I aggro him and I walk away from him because he's level 1. See, like right there. He gets towards the gate and he just vanishes. Wow, you are... You're just something, game. You're gonna do that to me? You're gonna make me happy by making him go away and then you're just gonna have it gated off? Great. Anything else you'd like to troll me with real quick? You're going for it. Back the way I came. Hope it changed. Yeah, the biggest enemy for this game is not even the monster. The monster might be causing it, but it's the level design itself that's going to defeat you. I mean, realistically, I guess it can't really be the SCP who does it. Because if that were true, well, he'd obviously be aware of you if you're in his domain. You can actually escape, so... I don't know, that just seems odd to do. I mean, if your goal is to murder me, why not just murder me? You can make everything just a walled up area. Just do it. <laughs> Back to the beginning. Still in phase one. Damn it. This has to be the most boring one to be in. There's nothing going on. The worst thing they'll try to hit you with is noise. The monster doesn't really do anything. And that's about it. You're just walking around. If you like walking simulators, I I say phase one is the best thing you'll ever ever have to experience. And here's the rare occasion where he chases you. But since he's level 1 version, he's slow. And he'll never catch you. Ever. He's not a threat, thus he's not scary. Two, he's not a threat either. So once again, he's not scary. In phase 3, he cheats. So, what's to be scared about?
He goes from two phases where he's too easy to a phase to where he he just ninja stealths behind you with no noise and kills you. The worst thing that'll ever happen there is you'll be so surprised by the fact that he popped out of fucking thin air or straight up your ass that you might jump. Maybe. Basically, he's like a pipe erupting. A noise. I wonder what would happen if I just turned around and looked at him. Would he actually try to crawl through there, or would he just run up against the wall like an idiot? I would probably guess from all the experiences I've had with this game, he'd be an idiot. But it's hard to tell. Well, it's not really all that scary. Actually, it's never scary, but... If you play this game long enough, and it does this kind of thing... After you've, like, hit, like, two or three of the noise scares, you'll be used to it. I literally didn't go anywhere. Okay. Maybe the layout changed. We'll find out. <clears throat> as long as I get to phase three, that'll, that'll be good enough for me. Looks like I'm gonna get into phase two. Are you serious? This game does do, um, immersion pretty well. It's just not really all that scary. It's definitely claustrophobic, and you definitely will feel like you're lost. You definitely will feel like you're trapped in these type of scenarios. But the rest of the time, it's just not really making anything else work. Yeah, he had to disappear. The area is way too small. If he didn't, I would have just... Ah, oh, damn it. He actually has a way to escape now, so... I have to wait for him. He, d he did disappear there. Because he doesn't have an animation to actually crawl under things. Unless it's like a very specific location. Really? Three dead ends. Why oh, you just finish it off? Make the other one a dead end. Where the fuck did he go? Where did he go? That wasn't me, right? He was there, and then he was like, gone. I'm a magician now. Look at my tricks. Poof.
You need to piss off. You and your magical powers. Just like I said with that Jason Voorhees meth, uh, teleportation. He, he obviously is doing it. You ain't more proof. There you go. <laughs> Hopefully he actually let me go far enough to where these aren't dead ends anymore. Okay then. At least it wasn't a wall. Totally different. I should bring this thing with me. I understand this thing's a monster. There's plenty of things to use as weapons. It'd be nice, too, if the notes actually gave something useful. One of them does say, don't follow the pipes. But, of course, every single wall has a pipe on it, so... Kind of a worthless hint. The rest of them are just, like, really super generic story? It would just be nice if, like, the notes had a purpose. Because they really don't. Come on, game. You really gotta smash my character into the wall? Is that really necessary? Because I don't think it is. I mean, you're... They already put in the effort for him to, like, just go unconscious from whatever, being tired. What they could do is, when he's doing his mad rush, he could, like, take his arm and, like, try to reposition himself. And that might cause him to slow down a little bit. It would make sense, because he's, he's in a hurry to get away from what's scaring him. But for right now, all he does is have, like, seizures, or, like, he has strokes or whatever. He just starts bashing into walls. Oh my god. Yes! Stage three. Now don't fuck me over and give me a door, damn it. This is the part where it sucks. Oh, you son of a bitch! You son of a bitch! I have to be extremely careful here, too. Because if he even gets, like, the slightest... Oh, fuck! Fuck, 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 fuck. You can't get me, I'm crouching! Damn it. <laughs> it took so long, and it was so boring. Yeah, fuck it, I'll do one more. Da 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 da. Going in a hallway, do 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 do. Right. 
Might as well just go down these hallways skipping a happy tune. Not like anything's gonna happen. I'm a piece of paper. The end. I just really write down how many times I get blocked by a wall. Biggest time waster ever. You know what the worst part is going to be? If I actually do manage to beat this game, it'll probably be just like the original ending. <laughs> They better have changed that. That that was super disappointing. It's bad enough. This takes forever to beat due to its random nature. But then you just get towards the end and it's like, eh, it's super lackluster. I mean, this, this could be a really good premise. But if you give it a really cookie cutter ending, it's like, wow, this game is dead. <laughs> it's kind of like with the um, the SCP endings. Yeah, they're both kind of negative. But if you just got away scot free. It would feel slightly kind of dumb. Or even worse, if the ending was just like, Congratulations, you beat SCP Containment Breach. You win. It would just be disappointment. That's what this game did. You literally go up the ladder and it just says, You win. whoop de doo I mean, it's fine for most games where it's like the process is a collection of something. Because they never really base anything and they all do the same thing. Something is just kind of like prowling the area trying to kill you. Well, this one seems like maybe the person might be crazy. Maybe it's not something evil. And even then, like I mentioned before, if the monster itself is causing this type of scenario to happen to you, why would he simply let you go? The second you get up the um, platform to leave, it should just be like another maze or something. I mean, it will, it will ultimately, ultimately feel like a loss, but it will make sense of the story, because you're trapped. No matter what you do, no matter what you try, you are stuck in this scenario. You may live just a little bit longer, but that's all you can ever truly achieve. They did add an intro to where was something's dragging you in here. You fucking son of a bitch. Here's the uh, door. That's the only time I'll ever see it. But I don't have the key, so... At least I know the door exists. 
Sure didn't want to show itself in the last other playthroughs where I actually made it to three. But yeah, the um the only thing they do is they have like a little banter between like the two people that were working down here. And they basically just tell you like, Oh, isn't it great that I brought these sticky pads with me? Oh, isn't isn't it odd that we didn't bring flashlights down here to work on stuff and blah blah blah? Basically it just tells you we left the keys down here, there's glow sticks, and there's something chasing after me. They don't really give like an actual story itself. It's more of like these are the items that are down here, or this is where there's there's something chasing us. Which doesn't ultimately matter, because more than likely, before you ever see those notes, you'll have a glimpse of the monster yourself. <clears throat> Thus, like I said before, they don't serve a purpose. Um, two of them show a map. One's, like, really badly drawn. The other one's, like, a lot... Really? Of course, it counts as a dead end, so... You got the key? You want to open this door for me? No, you're a dick? Okay. See you later. I gotta wait like 20 minutes while he gets out of the way. Mm. Now I got an eye boogie. Eye boogie. Get out of here. Oh, well, didn't matter anyway. Good, can you shove my dead body to the bars so I can escape? That'd be great. This will be the last try. I don't really care what happens here. <laughs> I really, really want this recorded again. I really should have put the other one up a long time ago. But back then, I didn't really care about recording and putting it up. So now I want another one, um, video of me beating it. But it's so luck-based, so... It can be really hard to actually get towards the end and win. Not to mention, it's, it's just a huge time sink every time you play it. Pretty much everything you do just causes you to have to wait for something in particular. Whether the monster's in your way, or you have to turn around every three seconds due to a wall blocking you. Some of these have actually been interesting though, so I guess it's been worth at least recording it. The monster kind of disappearing out of thin air was pretty cool. Well, not really. Nothing really changes. Really, unless you get trolled, one and two, those phases are pretty pointless. They don't serve any purpose. 
in phase three just murders you. It's purely based on luck. You don't see the door fast enough, well you're dead. Once you beat it, there's really no reason to replay it anymore. Because what are you doing? You're just walking around pretty much empty hallways. I mean, if, if your type of fun is walking down empty hallways, and you you have at it. Play it the infinite amount of times you want. Which even then, since there's really nothing going on in this game at the moment, you can really play any game an infinite amount of times. I mean, yeah, you may have beat it once, and even if it's a linear story, you could always just be like, Oh, I like the combat or something. Infinite amount of playtime. I mean, hell, think what speedrunners do. They'll play a game a billion times, despite the fact they demolish the ever-living crap out of it. Despite the fact most games can actually be bad... They still get, like, an audience that'll play it for, like, ever. Right. The blocking simulator. Mentioning blocking, there he is. I mean, when it really comes down to that subject, though, it really just depends on how you do it. I mean, if you can attempt to make it a unique experience every time, that's awesome. If you can't, there's really not a point to try to do that, then. I mean, yeah, the layout of the stage is always going to be different in this game, but it always plays out the same. You're always just going to kind of walk into every location hoping that it doesn't block you and you proceed forward. You can't really change anything or force anything by your hand alone. So all you can do is cross your fingers and hope the game allows you to continue. If it doesn't, well you just kinda walk around. The most this game will ever achieve in that kinda category is it's really good at wasting your time. Yeah, that's not exactly a good thing, though. Usually if you play a game, and you're kind of just like looking at your watch like, oh, is this over yet? That's really bad. <laughs> the last thing you want to do is have the... That was necessary. The last thing you want to do is have the player be like, hmm, you know what? This does feel like a waste of time. Really something you don't want. <laughs> You're still in front of me, aren't you? 
worse. You're going to chase after me. I'm going to hate you forever. Dead end. Really don't want to go in the tunnel, but too bad for me. What the hell? Okay. Apparently he saw me through the wall. Do whatever you want, monster. I mean, you disappeared out of existence, broke my neck from 12 trillion miles away, clipped into walls, stopped me with brick walls while you chase after me. Do whatever you want. All right, here we go. Everybody cross your fingers. Please don't be there. I'd like to actually go somewhere beyond I went this way once and then you insta-killed me. As much as I find that fun and entertaining, I would like to actually move. Shit. Fucking serious. Damn it. Alright, I just gotta hope he goes away, or at least far enough for me to get back in the tunnel. Put out a new fucking glow stick, you stupid moron. I need to be able to see his outline. The game makes you, like, wait a second before he actually pulls out a new one. He's like, are, are you sure? You sure you don't want to use the one that's dead and doesn't work now? <laughs> well, it's definitely a different location because that hard hat wasn't there. Yeah, I gotta remember to keep looking back sometimes. Because if you don't, he'll sneak up and kill you. How he knows you're there? Who fucking knows. Give me the access door. What sucks, too, is the game mocked me earlier by just showing me the door. Fuck! 
There he is. Change the damn nightstick. Glow stick. I don't care. Change it. That bring out your dead one. I gotta be super slow about it because I don't know if he disappeared or not. Fuck. Okay, there's a hole. I'm going for it. Um, when you get to the second phase and the third phase, I would say usually yes. Third phase is like a definite. Second phase is a maybe. I'd say it's like 50% chance. I was going to die, so I just stood there. I don't think that works. And then again, that, that kind of doesn't make any sense anyway. Since you pretty much have to continually move forward. So I think that's one of those notes where it's like, oh, this seems like a tip, but it's not really. Oh great, back here. Yeah. He's all over me too, which is bad. I don't have any uh Fuck Oh, he's gonna kill me. Yep. Okay. That'll be it for now, at least with this game. Hmm. I'll try some of this tomorrow. Hopefully I can get lucky. Um, I'm gonna take a little break though, and I'm gonna come back with uh, Dark Blood. I'll keep the stream on, but I'm going to switch it over to the uh, other game. Get here, Vanish. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I, I was fishing the entire time. Rip, rip, rip. So yeah, just give me a second. I'm just going to use the restroom, stuff like that.
Um, to save me a little editing trouble, I'm going to turn the stream off, and I'm going to turn it back on. That way, um, if I decide to edit the video, it will be a lot easier for me. So I'll be right back.